Welcome to the introduction video for syncing scrapbook items and memories between your personal family tree and the memories of FamilySearch Family Tree. Do you have a lot of scrapbook items that you wish to share with FamilySearch? Have you seen memories for your ancestors in FamilySearch, often contributed by your extended family members, that you wish you could easily download and make part of your personal scrapbook? Have you ever wanted to send a copy of your personal family tree to relatives, but have wondered how to get the scrapbook items to them easily? Ancestral Quest makes it very easy to share your scrapbook, download memories from FamilySearch, and make it possible to share your database with shareable links to your scrapbook items. To get started, select any ancestor from your tree, make sure they are linked with FamilySearch Family Tree, then click on the blue tree icon. You'll notice that on the left side of the screen is information from your database, on the right side of the screen is information from FamilySearch. We've added the ability to read stories. Simply click on the title of a story, and you can now read through that story here within FamilySearch. If you'd like to exchange stories between your notes and the stories of FamilySearch, click on the Notes and Stories button. The Media button shows you that you have, in this case, four scrapbook items for the person in your database, and in FamilySearch there are six memories. If you click on the Media button, you'll see both the scrapbook items in your database and the images out in the Memories of FamilySearch. You can choose to view these items as small icons, as you see here, or you can select larger icons. And let's stay with small icons. Each item allows you to do three things. You can click on the image itself to see the original size of the image. You can click on the Details button to be able to edit the caption or description and then save that. In the case of a family search memory, you'll only be able to edit the title and description if you were the one that contributed the memory. If you didn't contribute the memory, you won't be able to change those things, but you could always add comments. And third, each item has an options box next to it. You click the options box to see which options are available for the particular item. Your options will be different depending on whether you are uploading photos, downloading photos, or associating photos between the two sides. If you have a small number of items, you can easily visually determine which items you might need to upload and which ones you'll want to download. If you have a larger number of items, it might be easier to first associate the common items. For example, you'll notice that this picture of Robert Jones is the same both in my scrapbook and out in the Memories of Family Search. If I click on the Options box for Robert and choose this third option to associate the scrapbook item, I can then scroll through the various pictures in the Memories of Family Search till I find the matching item. I can compare the picture, compare the image size. This is the correct item, so I can click OK. And you'll notice that Ancestral Quest now moves the associated items into a special linked area, and the ones that are still unlinked appear below. Let's try that again with the picture of Robert's brother because it seems to be the same on both sides. I'll click the Options box, select the third option, scroll to the matching picture, and click OK. At this point, it is very easy to see the unique scrapbook items in my database compared with the unique memories out in FamilySearch. This picture of Robert and Cindy is one that I don't have in my database. It must have been contributed by a relative of mine. Let's click the Options box. Leave the default to download the memory item. Hit the OK button. Select a location to save it and a file name and hit Save. That picture is now in my database as well as out in the Memories of Family Search. Let me show you the additional options for Family Search memories. I'll click on the box. If you were the one that had either tagged this picture to this person or had uploaded this photo to FamilySearch, you could now either delete the memory from FamilySearch if you no longer wanted it out there, or you could remove the tag. If you were not the contributor of the information, these options would be grayed out. Now let's upload this photo of the Jones family from my scrapbook to the FamilySearch memories. First I want to click on the Details button and make sure the caption and description are the way I want them. That way I don't have to later edit them both in my file and out in Family Search. Since they're the way I like them, I'll just leave that. Then I'll click on the Options box, leave the default of uploading this to Family Search as a photo, and click OK. That photo is now out in Family Search. You'll notice that you don't see the photo here on the Family Search side. It says Screening. FamilySearch always screens the images before it lets them be shown publicly. 
what you might have to do to, before you see this image is you'd have to work on other things in Ancestral Quest and maybe in a few minutes come back and see whether the image is now available and pass the screening process. Meanwhile, if you are anxious to verify that the image was uploaded successfully, or if you want to tag the image to other ancestors, click on the Details button. And if you click this little icon here, that will let you see this memory in Family Searches screens. At this point, you can verify the image was uploaded. And if you want to start tagging other members of the family, you can do so. If you want to upload scrapbook items that are not photos of people, but rather images of documents, follow these instructions. Again, click on the Details button. Verify that your caption and description are the way you want them. Change them if necessary. Then click on the Options box. Select the second option to upload the scrapbook item as a document rather than as a photo, and click OK. You'll notice that the documents are shown in their own section below. That's how simple it is to review the scrapbook and memory items for any selected ancestor. I only have one more thing to show you. This is for those few users who want to regularly share their personal database with others and need a method for easily sharing the scrapbook items. Let me click this options box. You may have noticed on some of the options screens there's this checkbox for show advanced options. When you check this box you will see two additional options. The top option will handle the upload, download, and associated actions as I have already described them. You will have a copy of the image on your computer, your scrapbook will link to that image file, and the family search memory will have a copy of that image. In the case of you downloading a file from family search to your computer, if you select the second option, Ancestral Quest will not actually download the file, but will simply create a scrapbook record in your personal file and point the scrapbook record to the memory on family search. In the future, when you look at the scrapbook in your file, AQ will show you the image from Family Search, as you won't have a copy of this image on your computer. In the case of a scrapbook file you already have on your computer, and which you are uploading or associating with the Family Search memory, the file on your computer will not be changed, but the link in the scrapbook record of your file will no longer point to your copy of the image file, but rather it will point to the Family Search memory. Now, in most cases, you should not use this advanced option. If you are regularly sharing your database with others and in need of a way to make sure they can see the images of your ancestors, this advanced option allows you to change the links in your scrapbook from using the image files on your computer to instead using the images stored on Family Search. This way, when you send a copy of your file to your relative, when they look at the scrapbook items, they will point to copies on the internet and you won't need to send copies of your image files to them. Just in case you later change your mind and wish to have your scrapbook item point back to your original image files on your computer, Ancestral Quest has an option to store the original file path in the description of the scrapbook item. If you use this option, found on the Scrapbook tab of Preferences, which is on by default, you can later simply copy and paste the original file name and path from the image description to your file name field, and your scrapbook item will again point to the image file you have on your computer. Thanks for watching this video. We trust that you'll really enjoy the quick, easy method of exchanging scrapbook items and memories between your database and the Family Search family tree. If you know of others who are anxious to easily exchange such memories between Family Search and their file, please share this video with them. Also, be aware that many people who would benefit from this feature may not already be using Ancestral Quest. If they are using a different Family Tree program, they can easily export their data to a JetCom file, then import into Ancestral Quest to take advantage of this exciting feature.